Today, I'm gonna be going over the altimeter and how exactly it works. And it's a small but complicated device, so I'm gonna try to keep things simple as I can for you guys. Now, this front part here probably looks pretty familiar, and we're gonna be diving into more what's behind the instrument and how things work. So the altimeter basically tells us how high we are above mean sea level. And it all starts with the static port here, which is on the left side of the nose of the plane. The reason it has a tiny little hole on it is to read and measure the pressure outside. It's important to know that as altitude increases, air pressure slowly decreases, and the altimeter uses this change in air pressure to calculate how high you are. Now, inside every standard altimeter, there are these things called aneroid wafers. These wafers are sealed inside this casing here, and they basically expand or contract with the change in air pressure. Inside the wafers is a set amount of static air, which is 29.92 inches of mercury. And just so you know, inches of mercury is just how we measure the air pressure. Now, let's say we climb from the ground up to 1,000 feet. On the ground, the air pressure flowing into the instrument through the static port will be equal to the air pressure inside the aneroid wafers, and they will be in the contracted position. Once we begin gaining altitude, static air will start to decrease inside the instrument, causing the wafers to expand and fill up more space because of the pressure difference. Then, in turn, these rods and gears here move the needles of the altimeter to indicate a climb. After we hit 1,000 feet and level out, the wafers will stop expanding since the static air at that altitude will be the same. And finally, when you start a descent, you will reintroduce more air pressure into the instrument and the wafers will start to contract until you land where the air pressure will be equal again. One more important piece of the instrument is the Colesman window, which is controlled by this knob here. And when you twist it, it moves these gears behind, which rotate the needle of the altimeter. Each flight, we have to set the Colesman window to the correct altimeter setting. On a standard day, the pressure setting is 29.92 inches of mercury. But since it's almost never a standard day outside, we have to listen to the ATIS at whatever airport we're at, and it will give us the local, local altimeter setting for that day based on the local air pressure. This will then give us an accurate altitude reading for that day. So yeah, that's a brief explanation on how the altimeter works. There's a million more things we could talk about with the altimeter, but I mainly just wanted to hit on how it works and take a look behind the instrument. So that's all for this one. Thank you for watching.